Greetings adventurers and welcome back to my Skyrim modding journey. Uh, today we're going to finish installing the animations I want from Vero Levi. Um, I know I said I was going to do these off camera initially, but uh, they seem really cool. And uh, I just figured I'd uh, chat about them while installing them. Especially just the beginning here, how... Uh, so his, his older ones here that were first uploaded in 2021 are based around this uh, high stance for Leviathan animations, and Leviathan animations is for uh, uh, two-handed and heavy set people, as far as I understand. Because yeah, I found out as I was going down that uh, they have sprint animations. So this is for Vanguard, which like I said is the like uh, light armor one-handed thing. And then Goetia, so this is the like mages sprint. And it says in the description that this will apply when people are, it's a number of different conditions, but it was like, uh, the base one is pretty much if you're not wearing armor, then this is what you're you're going to use. And yeah, there's even the male and female walk and run idols for Goetia. And then yeah, sprint for Leviathan too, for heavy armor people. And on top of all that, <laughs> something I found really cool was that, like I said, he has these original Leviathan ones. And then he also has Leviathan 2 that he's obviously been working on. And uh, within that, there's these uh, extra on top of the ones we already have. There's great sword power and sprint attacks, great sword non-combat locomotion, uh, great sword low stance, so the fool's guard, and more uh, normal attacks. We already have a like power two-handed normal attacks thing and a power attack thing. So it's just with the uh, randomized attacks mod, even though actually the randomized attacks are uh, just normal attacks, if I recall correctly. But uh, yeah, so I wonder how that would work. Uh, oh my god, is he using freaking Mordow? <laughs> uh, I forget what the uh, the English term for it is now. And I only remember that because it's the name of a, a video game, but the, the something stroke or something, murder stroke? Okay, so yeah, it says right here that if you have this installed with uh, Leviathan two-handed high stance, that it will uh, use this for just great swords, and it will uh, supersede it. Uh, I guess just install everything, and I mean, it's so uh, modular that if I see something I don't like, it'll be very easy to figure out uh, what it is. Yeah, like I said, I already have everything open, so aside from being uh, a little concerned about that, <laughs> we're gonna uh, press on and trust that it'll probably work. And like, like you know, he he had instructions for how that, you know, combined with his other mods, so I imagine they'll probably all have that. Just need to uh, pay attention as we go. Okay, now we've got Goetia, Conditional Shouts. This is cool. He's planning with Leviathan to make a... And he did have the whole uh, greatsword sneak attack uh, animations thing. So maybe he has uh, the kill moves worked into that. What is the point of the simplistic? <laughs> okay. So yeah, we're using the... where We have animation replacers. So we'll just use the normal one. Sprint animations. Use the Kata add-on. Dual wield sneak thrusts. I see this one... Uh, Specifically, I haven't installed one of these mods yet. The one I was looking at was Elder Power Attack specifically because it uses a modifier key. I'm assuming this just uses a different key. Well, this allows you to set it up pretty much how you want. I guess I'm just going to uh, make sure I bookmark it just as a reminder. In fact, I'll put it in my animations. Thing. Installing dual wield sneak thrusts. Installed. Goetia female idle walk and run animations. Conditional armor doohickey, and that's installed. Male version, just use the kata. Male version, sneak magic, relies on dar. I've been on the fence about this, enabling sneak damage multiplier for magic. I'm not vehemently opposed to it, just as far as balancing, like, you know, melee weapons, bows, and crossbows, and uh, magic. As you saw in my previous video, I made arrows faster, so they're not, like, dodgeable, like, in Dark Souls games, per se. But, like, if you see someone drawing their bow and stuff, you have a good chance of being able to do a side dodge just by anticipating when they're going to release. It's not perfect, but also I think that's kind of realistic, because that is how it would be. You see someone drawing their bow at you, you have, you know, maybe a second <laughs> to get behind cover. Um, you know, people can catch arrows out of the air and stuff. So, yeah, and with the whole, like... Because however I handle sneak attack damage, it's going to be based around the idea that an archer with non-magical arrows of, like, penetration or something <laughs> uh, is not going to be able to sneak attack kill somebody wearing a, well, I guess just full armor. Because if somebody, yeah, and light armor could maybe reduce it. But I guess in general, yeah, anyone wearing heavy armor 
there's not going to be a way for a archer outside of some kind of magical means or something to one shot sneak attack kill them if they're wearing all heavy armor i think that would be that's how i want to balance it and then more specifically my whole thing as with projectiles i slowed down the speed of magic a lot not as much as <laughs> it was set to but uh a lot more than vanilla and then obviously magic has a lot more uses whereas an arrow is just you know and i know there's magic arrows with different effects and stuff like the telekinesis arrows but i'm not getting into that for this playthrough guess the only thing so if i had to be picky about it i would want magic to be able to do more damage than an arrow or like one spell to do more damage than an arrow and to keep it simple we'll say like a direct single damage thing like lightning bolt or something uh or ice spike i would want that because ice spike is just an arrow <laughs> you know and the thing is is it, it goes slower i think even like based on uh, incinerate i think even expert level spells are going to go slower than or uh, expert level projectile spells are going to go slower so they'll be harder to hit people in general because yeah with that balance if heavy armor is going to stop archers from getting a one-shot kill and magic generally counters, you know, melee people in, in traditional RPG fashion, then I guess if I was being picky, I would want magic to be able to do the same amount of damage regardless of whether or not they're sneaking, which is what I already wanted. But I want it to do enough damage that it can kill someone in heavy armor where an arrow cannot. But at the same time, I guess it w I would want it to like not be so much damage that it's doing that amount of damage all the time especially if the AI isn't able to dodge. Yeah, this doesn't say anything about having them dodge uh, projectiles or anything. But anyways, so well, I'll, I'll leave it for now because if I can find a way to, to balance it so that it doesn't need to be tied, so that magic damage doesn't need to be tied into sneak and it is balanced and stuff, then I will do that. Uh, but maybe this will end up just like making the, the formula easier to attain. So we'll see. Uh, I didn't check requirements are and in case this is your first video or something anything with dynamic animation replacer you can use open animation replacer instead it is a newer updated version because the people who person who made dar is not active anymore so we got sneak magic installed female idol walk and run for leviathan and i don't have the previous one do i normal tags to high stand nope so yeah i think he deleted the old one just need the cat of oh wait what did that say None if using, not even, yeah. So, Cata version, Leviathan 2, female idle walk and run animations in installed. Leviathan male animations, imagine it's the same thing, you just need Cata. God, the conditional armor mod <laughs> is super cool. Because, yeah, I, uh, I, I felt the effects of it messing around a little bit before. And male Leviathan installed. And we've got Leviathan sprint, also use the Cata version. Leviathan 2 Sprint installed. Leviathan 2 Greatsword Power and Sprint Attacks. So Greatsword Power Attacks and Sprint Attacks. Greatsword Non-Combat Locomotion. Now this is the only one I'm not even... I love that he is referencing... I love Skologram. Skologram is one of my favorite YouTubers. So what is the fucking Mordow? Is it just... that looks like the back power attack. Uh, which I don't use too often. I guess I'll... Give it a shot after all. This looked a little better to me. Yeah, and this is the Ford False Edge power attack thing. Leviathan False Edge. Great sword power. Didn't that two handed power attacks for high stand? Regardless, I mean, that's needs to win anyways, right? Yeah. False Edge wins. False Edge wins. I wonder if I can just like. That's the backward power attack. If I just deleted this, it would uh, default to whatever other ones it has, right? Let's find out. And deploy. Save. I want low stance to beat high stance. Yeah. Now let's try. Ah, nice. It did change it. Oh, there was the the false edge. Ah, uh, yeah. So yeah, it did go back. It got rid of the mortal. Sweet. Well, that's perfect. Cause yeah, everything else will be there. Oh uh, yeah, the half sorting is the normal one. I love that. Oh, and I just see. I would be on the fence on switching it back if I didn't like that one so much. The whole, like, I forget the exact terms, but going down and coming back around over the top is awesome. All right, well, the experiment worked. That's all that matters. Great sword normal attacks. We're almost done. Great sword normal attacks installed. Great sword sneak. Uh, normal attacks for high stance. 
great sword normal attacks. So after, no, wait, well, yeah, I want this to load before and that to load after. And that is all of Va v Vero Levi's uh, animation lines. But yeah, this is a great bunch of animations. I'm pretty stoked about it. I completely like changes the, the look and feel of the game, especially with randomized normal attacks and things are looking pretty good. So I will show off more of these animations in the next video. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.